Why is prayer important? Welcome to the Summit Study Hall. My name is Dre, and hopefully we'll be able to dissect that very question today. Through five scripture-based answers, we'll delve into the question of prayer and how it affects our spiritual connection with God himself. So let's get right into it with our first verse. It comes from Philippians 4, 6. It says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. If we look at that verse, the answer to our question, we can say it as, it helps alleviate life's pressures and lets us place all of our worries in God's hands. You know, there are so many reasons to live worried these days. And through the act of prayer, we can come to God Almighty and ask for his divine mercy and divine grace. We can ask for him to strengthen us when we need it the most. And even though God knows what we need before we ever tell him, it helps for us to vocalize and put into proper thoughts those needs. It lets us know ourselves where our hearts are and what fills them. It also gives us the opportunity to thank him for all of the blessings he's already bestowed upon us in our lives. Like the verse says, we can thank him and let him know how grateful we truly are. That he is always there and always ready to hear our pleas. Second verse, Matthew 6, 6. Jesus says, but when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Then your father who sees everything, will reward you. So the answer this time is prayer allows us to connect with God in a respectful and deeply personal way. Praying is really an act of respect as well as a calling out to God for help. And for telling him what we need. That's why the verse teaches that we should pray with a quiet and focused state of mind. Not to show off to others around us. And not to prove how faithful and obedient we are to God. But to give him the respect and attention he truly deserves. Once we've been honest and have prayed with our entire heart. God will then see and reward our honesty. All of life's everyday barriers will be erased, and there will only be his presence in our hearts, spirits, and minds. Next verse. Romans 8, 26. This is one of my favorite verses I've come upon. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. So why is prayer important? Because it opens up our hearts to God. This follows from our previous point 
that prayer is such a deeply personal communication between us and God. This verse is truly beautiful, and the concept behind it is one of my favorites that I've read from the scripture, that the Holy Spirit will take our deepest, most precious desires, and he will translate those feelings into a spiritual language that only God can understand. It's it's amazing. This verse also states that we don't always know what we should actually be praying for because we don't know what's best for us and our unique situations only god knows and so the holy spirit intercedes on our behalf and in our time of weakness and uncertainty and professes to god the father all of those emotions which we're not even aware that we're feeling deep inside. Next verse, Psalm sixty-six, nineteen. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Answer, it tightens the bond we've created with God. This verse clearly states that God listens to us in our moments of weakness and uncertainty and utter confusion. He hears us when we cry out, whether it be joyous or not. He tends to each and every one of our spiritual, emotional, and physical needs. This also shows that God doesn't play favorites and that all of his children are on equal ground. The case can really be made that we're all the apples of his eye. We're all the quote unquote most important person to him at all times. And so he will forever give his undivided attention to us. No matter the prayer No matter the topic or need or want, he will listen and send his angels to work. Finally, our fifth verse comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.17, and it simply states, Never stop praying. This gives us the answer that praying provides us with the peace and assurance that God's love for us is both unconditional and eternal. There will never be a prayer too big or outrageous for God to hear and answer. That's why we should never be swayed from praying about everything that's on our hearts and to never stop praying, period. Our bond with our Heavenly Father should continue to tighten and grow stronger with each passing day, season, and chapter of our lives. Finally, this verse encourages us that no matter what may come our way throughout our journeys in life, God is forever there. And so we should continue to pray. Always. Nothing can or will separate us from his love. And because it is unconditional and eternal, our show of respect and attention toward him should be also. So let's recap. Today's question, why is prayer important? Because it helps alleviate life's pressures. And lets us place all of our worries in God's hands. Because it allows us to connect with God in a respectful and deeply personal way. Because it opens up our hearts to God, plain and simple. Because it tightens the bond we've created with God. And finally, 
because it provides us with the peace and assurance that God's love for us is both unconditional and eternal. And there we have it. So again, I thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And my prayers, because that's our topic of the day, are for all of us to fulfill our God-given destinies and for us to reach our finish lines with grace, happiness, and joy. God bless you, and we'll do this again next time. Take care.